Hello gamers, welcome to another edition of tonight on Mage Hammer's Game Table. Once again, we have Warhammer 40k and Magic the Gathering mashup, The Universe is Beyond. This time, you're going to see two of the decks that we did not play before on the channel. It's the Tyranid, the Tyranid deck, and the Chaos deck. I'm going to apologize if this video is a little dark. I took some uh, steps to try to cut down on glare, so hopefully that won't be too much of a distraction for you. But hopefully be able to get a better look at the cards this time than last video, um, because hopefully I've eliminated most of the glare. Well, without further ado, Applesaurus Rex once again is here with me. Hi. Hi. He's already drawn his cards. We've shuffled our decks. I am about to uh, set my life to 40 and draw my seven cards, and we're going to begin. <clears throat> So once again, thanks for joining us. Uh, as you guys know, I am a huge fan of both Magic the Gathering and Warhammer 40,000. So this is pretty exciting. This whole thing has been pretty exciting for me that I was able to get a hold of them. Oof. Well, looks like I'm going to take a mulligan. Now, our mulligan house rules are if we're playing, our first mulligan is free. Our second mulligan, then we have to draw up to six and so forth. That's our house rule. So I get one free mulligan up to seven. And like I said, I think that's the current magic rules right now, where you go down to six, because that's what it plays on arena and standard. But I'm not sure if commander's is any different. I haven't really looked it up. Maximilian, your, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, Apple Source Rex, your commander um, has Cascade. And I don't remember what Cascade is. I think Cascade is you can cast another card for its casting cost after you cast or for the Cascade cost, but if you could look up on your phone real quick what yeah, Cascade is, because that's going to be important since your whole thing's based on it. I looked in the Universes Beyond rules booklet that came with it. Well, it's not really a rules book, but it's a lore booklet, really. And it didn't have anything about that. So if you could look that up real quick while I'm all like getting in here, that'd be great. Thank you. Cascade means when you cast the spell, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card whose mana value is less than this spell's mana value. All right, so are you good on that? Mm -hmm. You understand that? Because it gives all your cards cascade equal to the amount of life I've lost. That includes damage. To go first, I roll an eight. Or no, seven? Eight. Wait, yes, yeah, seven. Seven? You bad at math. And you rolled a seven. Oh, great. And I rolled a nine. And you rolled a five. I go first. Here we go. So, uh, I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna lay this land. Comes into play, Battlefield Tap, Temple of Epiphany, and I get to scry, look at the top card, decide whether to put it on top of my deck or on the bottom. In this case, I'm gonna keep it on top. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Um, I will play the Terramorphic Expanse, and then I'll uh, tap it. And sacrifice it and go look for a land. And that should end your turn, I assume. Yeah. All right. I'm going to play out Frontier Bivouac. Comes in to play tap, but it adds either a green, blue, or red. And, of course, that is going to end my turn. So once you're done shuffling over there, it is up to you. Take a drink of my delicious coffee. While you go ahead and draw. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So, note, Applesaurus Rex and I have not played these two decks against each other. In fact, I just got the Chaos deck today. I found it at a local store, so I bought it. Um, Tyranids, I have played it. I played it against both the Necron deck, and I also played it against uh, Imperium deck, and it won both times. So, don't know if that's any testament to me as a player, or testament to the strength of the deck, or how it plays against these decks, but I guess that's what we're kind of exploring here. Done. Done over there? Yeah. Yep. Untap. Upkeep. Ooh. I'm going to... I'm going to put out a uh, land. Green. Bring out the Pure Strain Gene Stealer when it enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it. And uh, whenever it attacks, I move a plus one plus one counter for it. If I do, search my library for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. So that's going to come into handy there. And uh, that is it for my turn. Go ahead. Okay. Untap, upkeep, draw. 
Anyway, yeah, so the Tyranid deck, like I said, I don't know if it just seems to be extra powerful, or as you saw from our other video, as we were discussing, these commander decks, with it being only one copy of each card in it, can really, almost every game is, is completely different, which is kind of fun. I mean, a lot of fun. All right, so we got some stuff going on over there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we got a pain artifact, which makes sense for chaos. Yeah. Talisman of Indulgence? Yeah. Yeah. I'm also going to play the Worn Power Stone, which Ooh, has the Battlefield one. tap. Yes, it does. That's okay. great, yes. Done. Done? All mm -hmm. right. Yes. I'm going to untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to put this card out. When I put this card out, I scry. Mm, yeah, we'll keep that. And, um, okay, then I'm going to use this to bring out... Cast Cultivate. Search my library for up to two basic land cards. Reveal those cards. Put one on the battlefield tapped and the other into my hand. Then shuffle. So here we go. Two basic land cards. So let's get me a forest. And let's get me a mountain. I'll put the mountain into my hand. Yes. And I'll put the forest into play tapped. I'm going to shuffle, just a token shuffle, because I'm going to attack with this pure strain gene stealer here and, uh, you know, go search for a land here in a second. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to attack. Um, whenever it attacks, I must remove this. So it's going to hit you for two, but I get to go search for a basic land. So we will go get a... Uh, I got a mountain in my hand. Do I want another forest or I want another... Let's get another... Uh, geez, I don't know. I guess I'll just get another forest. All right, I'll shuffle this up. Uh, I guess that ends my turn, Max. Or uh, Applesaurus, Max, whatever your name is. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and take your turn. Oh, my. Sounds like fun. It is. It's just like a any commander color yeah. land. Yeah, each thing. each one of these commander decks has uh, one of those in it, the version of that in it. All right, so I got my graveyard off to the off camera here. I assume. Yeah, someday I'll figure out how to or buy a uh, tripod of some kind that has like you know that hangs from the ceiling kind of thing. Play the Heralds of Zinch. Okay. Excellent. Check in the camera, make sure it's still going and everything. To Exile Has Cascade too. Oh, now it explains Cascade right yeah. on it. Okay, good. Alright, so I'm gonna play this <laughs> since this was the first thing to come up. Yep. Talisman of Dominance. Yes. And I'm done. Don't untap till the beginning of your turn. You're right. Key Forge. I know Key Forge. It's yeah. crazy. All right. Draw. Unclaimed territory comes into play. Oh no. When it comes into play, choose a creature type. Add one mana. Add one mana of any color. With any color, spend this mana only to cast a creature spell of the chosen type. So I'm going to choose Tyranid. There's a shocker. Mm -hmm. All right, so can do a couple of things here. All right, let's do it. I'll do that. Well, that'd be kind of fun. We're going to save that. Let's do this. This looks like more fun right now. So we're going to do one, two, then, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Ravenous. So... This comes into play with X plus one plus one counters. Um, if it's five or more, draw a card when that occur when it enters. And when it enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature and opponent controls. If that creature would die this turn, exile instead. So it's five on three. And it's flying though. Still fights it. It just f they fight. Oh. But it doesn't die. Yours dies and it does three damage to me, and normally I would die. But I'm doing five damage to that. This is doing three damage to this. Okay. So it's currently sending two damage to Even the other one. Flying? Yes, it's fight. It's not combat. Okay. Yep. I'll attack for one. Yeah. 
Come out into play. And uh, done. Go ahead. Okay. Got a 7 7 creature staring you down, buddy. Yeah. Shuffling commander, sleeve commander decks is not my favorite pastime, but it has to be done. I have to protect these cards. So, Dragon Shield matte sleeves, by the way. I prefer clear matte like we got on here. However, I got purple cool ones for one point when I was buying them for Keyforge, but I decided to unsleeve all my Keyforge decks not too long ago because I just have so many of them and I needed to store them better and I couldn't store them as well with sleeves on them. Plus, we, I only play each deck. My really good. SAS, high SAS decks are sleeved, but for, you know, basic, fun, random, let's roll a deck and play it against each other, um, hmm. I don't, I don't have those sleeved up. What's going on over there, Chaos? I'm reading this card. I'm that's good. Play the Assault Suit. Ooh. That's, that's pretty good. That's cool. It's Terminator armor, basically, it looks like. Mm hmm at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, you may have that player gain control of equipped creature until the end of turn if you do untap it. So you must have a creature that does horrible things to me. Yeah, but I'm not going to play it this turn. I'm going to play another one. I'm going to play the okay. Chaos Terminator Lord. Nice. Um, Chaos Terminator Lord. Yeah. At the beginning of the combat, on your turn, another target creature you control gains double. Oof. Ooh, that's not good. Mm-hmm. All right, done. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Untap. And draw. Uh, upkeep. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, you may have the player gain control of equipped creature. You haven't equipped it yet, though, right? Yeah. Ooh, that's fun. All right, let's do this. I'm going to lay out a mountain. I'm going to cast the spell Hall Breach. I'm going to destroy that. Oh. Destroy target artifact. That's no good. Yeah, no, that's great. You know how this game works, right? Mm -hmm. All right, then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana left, so I'm going to use six of it to bring out Old One Eye. Trample. All other creatures you control have trample. When it enters the battlefield, create a 5 5 green Tyranid creature token. And at the beginning of my pre-combat main phase, I may discard two cards. If I do, return this from the graveyard to my hand. I do like me some old one-eye. All right, so I'm going to attack, attack. So I'm going to you a 7-7 seven, seven and a 1-1. One, one. Mm. thought about bringing my commander out to the Swarm War, but old one-eye is just too tempting. I'll just take it. All right, so eight. And your turn. Okay. All right. I'm not sure I like that Chaos Terminator Lord very much, but I don't really have a chance right now. Hmm. I'm going to play the Plague Drone. Hmm. Okay, flying, if an opponent would gain life, that player loses that much life instead. Ooh, anti-life gain, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to bring out the Swarm Lord next, or whether I'm going to do stuff. It also depends on what I draw. What's your life at, 29? Okay, yeah. I'm going to play also Karma Betrayer. Nice! He is legendary. Yeah, he would have been better with that other he card. Attacks or blocks each combat if able. When you lose control of Karna Betrayer, yeah, see? Mm -hmm. And then if damage would be dealt to Karna Betrayer, prevent that damage, and an opponent of your choice gains control of it. Yeah. So that plays with that assault suit. So he's wearing the suit, I think, in the bit. In the yeah, car. he might be. Yeah. Cool. Right. That's fun. That's thematic. I like it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, done. Done? Yeah. Okay. All right, upkeep draw. Play on islands. Um, Biophagus. 
Uh, it is a uh, genomic enhancement. It's a human tyranid wizard. At one mana of any color, tap it. If this man is spent to cast a creature spell, that creature enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. So that'll be fun. That'll run a lot of things. Then I'm going to cast so two of these here. There. Bring out um, the Goliath truck. Okay. Um, I think I can make it. A, I think I can make it a creature now, but it still may not be able to attack. You know, we'll just play it this way. All right. So I'm going to ask you seven, seven trample, six, six trample, five, five trample. Okay. Um, so that's uh, six damage to you. Well, only two because of trample. Seven trample. It only has one toughness. Oh, is that how that works? Yeah. Uh, it's off its toughness, not off right. its power. Okay. So, two, five, uh, eleven. Uh, yep. And I think those all die. Yeah. Well, this one goes to you, though. Tax of one. When you lose, if damage would be dealt to card of trade, prevent the damage an opponent of your choice gains. Oh, then you don't take that six because it says it prevents the damage, so that damage never occurred to trample. Okay. And you draw, you lose to control, so you draw two cards. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, that card would be real stinky. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. I have a pretty commanding board presence right now. Yeah, I'm going to lose probably. But it's okay. Another island. It's a lot of creatures deal. You need the, the board wipe that's in there. I, think. I have a board wipe, but it's no good right now. Okay. Well, might be good now. Anyway. You um, might need it. Night Rampager. Oh, right. Uh, okay. At the beginning of combat of your turn, choose an opponent, and uh, at random, Night Rampart attacks that player. This combat of Fable, when Night Rampager dies, deals four damage to target opponent at chosen at random. Sweet. Mm -hmm. All right, now, uh, Mandate of Abaddon. Uh, choose a target creature you control. Destroy all creatures with power less than that creature's power. So everything under six dies. Un six or equal, or it says under? under. So, this, 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 and so this, if it be dealt damage, which is not damage, so he just dies, okay. but I draw two cards, because I lost control of them. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that helped mm -hmm. a little bit, take some of the heat off. Yeah, done. Yes. Okay. Oh, wait, I'll take that back. Thanks. Friendly neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Put this out in Scry instead. Uh, sure. Why not? Sounds good. All right, so I'm going to... I think I'm going to bring out the big guy finally. Okay. One, two, three. So blue, green, red... Okay, so three, four, five, six. Swarm Lord. He enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it. For each time I've cast my commander from the command zone this game. Whenever a creature you control, the cre uh, counter on it dies, draw a card. All right, I still have enough to bring this out, so I will. Toxicrine, reach death touch. Reach means it can stop flying. All lands, all lands have tap, add one man of any color, and lose all other abilities. So all your lands, all my lands are now just basic lands. Mm. But they do any one color. That's pretty crazy. It is weird. It does say all lands, not all lands I control, so that's mm. yours too. Mm. All right, so attacking six and seven, trample both. Mm. 
kind of want to save my guy for the next turn, so I guess I'll take it. All right, that's why you have 40 life to make those kind of decisions. Yeah. Done, your turn. I like the Swarm Lord with Trample. That's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I forgot about my Goliath truck. Yeah, Darn it. Next time. Next time is right. Gets plus one, plus one counters on stuff. Don't forget. Yeah, don't forget those lands. Now do one man of any color. Oh, I think I misunderstood that card. Oh, well, that's fine. Okay. Lucius the Eternal. When Lucius the Eternal dies, exile and choose target creature and opponent controls. When that creature leaves the battlefield, return him from exile under its owner's control. Say what? When Lucius the Eternal dies, exile out and choose a target creature and opponent controls. When that creature leaves the battlefield, return. Oh. So you would send my commander back to its grave, maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, if there's something else causing you more problems, maybe not. Yeah. All right. Um, well, this one has to attack. Yep. He will, too. Does he have haste? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Dang. All right. Uh... Swarm Lord will block uh, the knight. Oh, that does four damage, doesn't it? Well, that's just to me, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like Lucius. So I'm going to block the knight Rampager with the Swarm Lord. I'm at 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. And I take... Is that five? Yeah. Okay. So when this dies, you take four. And so then you take, take a nine. Yep, yeah, down to 31. All right. Oh. <laughs> I may have misplayed... How much life you got left? 13. Yeah, you're in trouble. Oops. Oh, it's a fast game. Right. Yeah. Pretty much over, really, to be honest. So, All right, so let's To be do... fair, I've never played the Chaos deck before. True. Well, me either. I mean, if you want, we can switch and play. No, it's okay. I know, you got stuff to do. Malanthrope. When it enters the battlefield, exile a target player's graveyard and put a plus one, plus one counter on it for each creature exiled this way. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four... Five, so it gets five plus one plus one counters, and you exile all your critters. All right. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna crew this up, and I'm gonna attack seven seven trample six six trample seven seven trample four four trample. And when it attacks, put two plus one plus one counters on a target attacking creature. So that's going to be my sword lord. I'm not very good at math, but I know I'm dead. So. Yeah, uh, I'm doing a lot. All right, well, Big not game. a very auspicious uh, opening for the Chaos deck. I mean, no. Sometimes it comes down to the draw, you know, and then maybe you did. misplayed once or twice, you said, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, the Tyranid deck stands strong so far. It's beaten all three decks. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, so next time we play, it'll be you playing the Tyranids against Chaos and see if you can do better with the Tyranids than I did or mm -hmm. whatever. All right, folks. Well, that was it. Pretty quick game tonight. Uh, still, still fun. Well, loads of fun. Magic still maintains to be fun as long as you get land. Yeah, that's and I did, motto. and you did. So did I. Uh, so anyway, you know, once again, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed these little uh, views of these decks. They're fun. Uh, no telling what I'm going to do next time, but hopefully you'll tune in to see what comes next on Mage Hammer's Game Table. All mm -hmm. right, folks. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great evening, morning, afternoon, whatever time of day it is. Uh, Apple Source Rex, anything to say as we uh, log off? Bye. See ya. Until next time, keep on slinging cards, rolling dice, and playing games. Mage Hammer and Apple Source Rex, out.